Hello everyone. Um, hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day up here in northeast Wisconsin and it's going to be 80 degrees and it's just gorgeous. Can't wait to get outside and do some stuff. I wanted to um, tape uh, this video to show you um, updates on my growing collection of planners. And um, first of all, um, I wanted to show you some differences in my um, Daytimer Malibu and um, this uh, is a beautiful purple color and I did a flip through on this uh, on another video before previously and I just wanted to show you what I found out um, about how I'm keeping my planner. Um, I really am enjoying decorating my pages but um, the daytimer system has a really nice little uh, thing about you know th things to be done so you can have like a master task list to be done and and um, uh, so I really enjoy that and that's on the back of the a month on one page So um, I've utilized that. I've been enjoying uh, decorating my my planner on days that I don't have that much to going on. I'll you know do some sketching or whatever in there. Uh, but you can see I've got a lot and lot of to dos. Some of them do not get done. So I keep on pushing them up and. This one, my my uh, children and my grandchildren were all up, and Bob was in the hospital, and lots and lots of to dos, little notes, and this is what I I have for to do for August so far, and my last week of July. And then uh, my to-dos for August. I they have two pages of them, so that's kind of nice, just in case. Also, I did a wrap up of um, July on you know what my goals were uh, and various things, and you know did I do you know all of the goals that I wanted to do. Um, not really. <laughs> Things happen, you know, what else, what else are you going to do? Uh, for instance, you know, my whole cleaning project, so I didn't do my yoga because of my cleaning project and Bob being in the hospital, no fiddle practice, and so don't stress, that was one of my goals, and I put ha ha ha. Two car breakdowns, Bob in the hospital, forget it. <laughs> this girl is stressed out. So I wrote down to myself, don't be so hard on yourself. I can catch up with my fiddling and, you know, what are you going to do? So I have a few uh, things, too, that I want as goals. I haven't really gotten out and painted outside uh, very much this year because this summer because of the big clean project. And I've got more things on there. Now this, because I had so much stuff to catch up on with my work and my house and everything, I just felt overwhelmed with all of my to-dos. And you can see that it doesn't really give you a whole lot of space um, to put all of your to-dos, you know, that you would like to do. Also, I'm still using this um, system where I put these flags for my uh, cleaning activities that are weekly, like bathrooms, recyclables, dusting. Sometimes all of the things get put on one day. They keep on moving down. So I'm thinking about changing my to-do list, especially a weekly to-do list, and using one of these for next week. And just put everything down, and then I'll write them on here when I get them done. So I'm thinking that that would save me more space. It will look so cluttered. I won't um, 
lose things, you know, and and uh, because of all the mess, and I think, um, and then I can just, you know, throw this away or move it. If I didn't get things done, I could move it to the next week instead of um, instead of having it all, you know, messed up. So I'm thinking about doing that for this next week, and I'll, we'll see how that happens. Um, also, I wanted to show you. This is um, my tracker of things that I want to track on a daily basis. Um, I did the when I first got this, it was like at the end of June, so I started doing that, and then I went through the whole month of July, and um, doing this for my weight loss really helped, and. Um, uh, track and here's August and I found out that all of my you know the whole month gets uh, put on you know and then I can put the things that I want to track so you can see I'm still not playing my fiddle and um, tracking my Weight Watchers points and all that um, I still have uh, I'm beginning to put in little inserts like foods with vitamin K. I have to t take um, so much uh, vitamin K every day for my uh, pills that I'm on. And um, so that was nice that I could uh, figure out how to print that out to where it's down um, uh, so it'll fit into this page. And then I've got um, new things in here. Um, my videos, talk about my videos. I want to resurrect my blog. I've got recipes that I want to try and these are all um, blank. So for right now. So I'm having a good time with this this book and, and it's um, uh, working out very very well for me especially when I went to um, the hospital. I was able to get things done and um, stay ahead of stuff and I really am enjoying it. Um, the second planner is not really a planner, it's my uh, Midori and this has not changed at all but I did finish my first book which has the notes from um, basically the classes that I have taken. I have taken Danny Gregory's uh, sketchbook school, both um, one and two, and two is just ending uh, this week. So um, this is the last week for it. So I will be archiving this. And but first, I think I want to go through and highlight some of the um, things that I want to try, and you know the the different techniques that the artist showed and that I want to try. I think I'm going to condense this then and then put it on like a little to-do thing for my artwork. So then I have my new uh, planner, my new book, book number two. I've started to decorate it. And um, this has the last um, class in it. It's too bad I couldn't have fit it in the last one, but I'm just too blabbery. So um, but that's okay. This will be right next to it. How's it when, once I get it done? Um, this used to be my bullet journal and before I got my Malibu planner and um, so I I tend to lose things if I have it all in do totally different places so I decided just to use this as more of a diary. Uh, so I've been writing just writing in it and um, so that that works for me and then here's my sketches I haven't really worked in this very much I've been working a lot in um, in my other sketchbook my watercolor sketchbook I did some uh, um, sketches waiting for Bob's procedure and uh, when they took him uh, for his heart procedure I uh, sketched his empty wheelchair so and I did it in, per, in uh, teal or turquoise because it just you know I just wanted a little bit of color so that's it for that that this is really has not changed at all I'm enjoying working with this and um, I'm having a lot of fun I take this 
places so I can write down notes and things where I don't take my Malibu because it's too, um, it's pretty big. So I, I can't carry a whole lot. So I take this with me and then if I have to write it down anything, I, um, I can and then I can transfer it over to my Malibu. Now, Here is my newest addition to my plant to achieving planner piece. My beautiful, beautiful Philofax in hot pink domino. And I'm like, okay, I found this online and I really, really loved it. I saw Miss Vicky B have one, um, the domino one. I'm like, okay, I have to have this. And I don't want to use this as a regular planner but what I'm going to do I was thinking about what I wanted to use this for and um, I think since it's uh, so beautiful I'm going to keep it here in my studio so I can look at it all the time and what I decided to use it for um, is my fine art um, keeping track of what I do I work I take care of the fam the house and my husband and a uh, dog and a cat. Sometimes my art gets pushed uh, back, back, back. And um, uh, so I want to try to keep up with goals, my to-dos for my art, and um, do like a daily uh, diary in here of what I did do for my art for that day. Um, I got these little post-it notes that have my first... Uh, initial on it and here's some to do's I already thought about. I haven't um, decorated it or added any things to the stuff rather that to the pages rather than the stuff that already came in in the um, the book so I'm looking forward to getting into that. I'd like to change out these um, tabs and put pretty tabs in there but that will all come in time. Um, since I just got this, I it started with July, so I didn't, and since I was in the big cleaning mode, I did not do anything art related for those days. And then Bob was in the hospital, so I think I'm going to draw on some of these other pages and see. But I started taking. Uh, taking note of what I was doing on the 25th and um, you know what I did for for my art and I'm you know getting back into the swing of things um, like sketchbook work, Corbonici work, um, what classes I listened to um, you know just different things like that I haven't really gotten into, you know, doing any heavy, uh, you know, painting artwork as of yet, but I'm trying to get um, going with all that. So that's all the way up to today, and today I'm filming videos. So um, I'll be using this for that, for like a little diary of what I want to do for my art, art, uh, art, um, uh, I guess you want to say, um, you know, my art business or whatever. It's not really a business. I'm not making very much money, but anyway, I want to treat it as such. Here is my master to do so far for what I want. Um, I've got a couple of commissions going, want to do stuff for my grandkids, so I've got plenty and plenty of stuff to do. I also make um, handmade uh, cards, so I have a bunch of cards that i got to get get ready to get uh, out. Um, th so these are both little to-dos and big to-dos, like I want to make a colored pencil chart with my new uh, colored pencils, and um, you know, so that's, that's uh, what my master art to-do list is right now. Everything in here, the rest of this is blank. Um, I bought some uh, pads at Walmart last week that that will fit in here, and so that'll that'll give me some um, 
space to write different notes on and things. And uh, my husband bought me this beautiful, beautiful uh, Lamy rollerball that I thought, you know, looked really cool with the um, hot pink. So I really appreciate that. And so that's it for my new addition to my Filofax. Um, this is my first Filofax, and I am really enjoying it. And um, I know what everybody, why everybody loves them. So I have one more thing to show you. And that is my old, old, old planner. And this one was from, I got it through work, and it's uh, just a vinyl. But I, well, I didn't want to not use it. So um, my name tag fell off of here, so it looks pretty crapped up. But what I thought I could do, since my addresses do not fit in my, um, in my, um, not my Midori, my Malibu, um, and I thought about using this for my crafting uh, supplies and my Christmas card um, list. And what I think I'm going to be doing is taking some paper, some uh, regular uh, uh, copy paper, and like putting down my inventory of all my stamps. So when I go to, I'll, I'll just stamp it, and what colors I have, um, color inks, and um, I'm going to put that in here as well uh, on a divider, and uh, I see I got my addresses upside down. Um, and so this will be for, just for my craft, um, my craft you know, goings on. I do um, approximately 50 homemade cards for Christmas and um, I try to get everybody's birthdays and Valentine's Day and St. Patty's Day. So um, I thought this would be a good place to house uh, what my inventory is for stamps, um, inks, so that I don't repurchase them and um, I can also, you know, remember, oh, gee, I've got that. Um, I'm going to be doing that as well. So this is this is just going to be for my craft and card making um, inventory and Christmas card list. So I catch everyone and I can, um, you know, I don't care if it gets messed up. This is just vinyl. It's just cheap. I'm also going to do um, in this one, and I forgot to show that to you, um, because of these these tabs they don't say what they are on it so I forgot about this anyway I had already made a spreadsheet of all of the watercolors that I have so I was able to print you know um, reduce it down and print it out and I put down uh, the color the brand that it came from um, Windsor Newton um, May Mary Blue Daniel Smith uh, the color family, the basic color family, red, blue, green, yellow, brown. Um, and then the actual pigment code. This is very helpful if you want to get um, an actual uh, one pigment color. Uh, you can see the ones that have more than one pigment colors in it are mixtures. So to get them down you should only really have you know you can still have more than more than one that's perfectly fine but uh, a pure color is really good to have so that's why I have most of them are ones and then what the light and fastness is of the colors um, the staining that is uh, important especially if you uh, need to um, remove paint to get your pages back down to white if it's transparent or opaque and then what size is the tube and um, any notes so I'm going to be doing this for my watercolors um, I already did it for the watercolor I'm going to do it for my oils and um, probably my colored pencils 
what I have uh, for my inventory for colored pencils. I have lots of art supplies, so I'm going to keep this for my fine art. Also, maybe sketchbooks, what I've got for sketchbooks, watercolor paper, that kind of thing. Um, I'll keep an inventory of it, so I won't be going to the store thinking that I need to buy it. And um, so this is for my fine art work and my journal for that. And I think I might journal, you know, about my craft area too, just so in here, just because I don't want to have another whole calendar for this. I've got plenty of stamps and inks and um, sprays and different things that I'll be using um, these rings up you know for my inventory uh, very much so especially with the stamps I mean you can only get you know three four stamps on a page and uh, I have plenty of those so um, that's it for I think I have achieved planner piece and I've got a planner for every single thing that I do and um, I'm really enjoying using all of the different, even though I haven't gotten this this far, but I've got to get this together soon because it's going to be Christmas card making time very shortly. I'm going to work on this this fall, getting um, my file of facts and this one all together with my inventories and, um, and uh, along with doing my artwork and I'm looking forward to that and uh, it'll be a vacation time soon I'll be able to be outside painting so I'm thinking that I'm going to be filling in this um, to uh, write down all of the things that I'm doing so I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, with my planner obsession and um, if you have any questions please ask them down below and I will answer them and if you like this video, please hit like or subscribe. And uh, I hope everyone has a great day. And I'm going to go out and paint. Bye-bye.